So today we want to talk about the business account of WISE and how we can use it to transfer money all over the world into 40 different currencies and into 160 different countries. Before we do so, you will find the link to WISE down below this video in the description or in the comments. And if you're using my link, you're helping me and my channel to grow. So thank you a lot. And I can do a lot more videos for you in the future on how to use WISE and different platforms. So thank you a lot. And now now you land on this screen and we are on the personal page but we want to check out the business functionality of WISE so let's click here and now we are in the business area and of course WISE does the same for us in the business context as it does in the personal life it will wire or transfer your money into different currencies all over the world and the good thing about WISE they will always give you the mid-market exchange rate for example for one US dollar let's say in euro for one dollar we get 0 0.9290 euros and if we check this on google it's actually the same exchange rate it's 0 0.93 euros per dollar so that's quite nice of wise that they give us the exact exchange rate and they're actually very transparent with that so they compare their fees to different banks and here you can see like a classic bank a traditional bank like chase it's 22 euros more expensive and paypal is even 34 euros more expensive than wise and another advantage is that they do it very fast because WISE has bank accounts all over the world and they don't have to actually wire the money. So if you're sending 1000 USD to Europe, they actually use their Europe banking system and then they will just deduct the money from there. So it can arrive within two hours. So that's a main advantage for wiring money internationally because then your business partner directly gets the money. But we will see this in a bit on how to actually do this. We can use WISE, for example, also with QuickBooks and other tax software so it can directly see our transaction and put them into our tax statements. And there's a lot more WISE can do for us in the business context actually we can manage our team with it so you can invite your team members and you can give them different cards so they can start using them while they're traveling but you can also set up like different accounts for different team members and then they can start using it so you can do a little bit of budgeting there and of course you can also get paid so if you're doing business in Europe or in China then the person can pay you there so if you book a service or you do some services or sell some goods the person can pay you in the local currency so you can open up a US dollar account, a British pound account, a euro account, and people can start paying you all over the world. And the really nice part of WISE is that they actually pay you an interest rate on your money. So with US dollar, it's up to 4.11%. And you will also receive some money for euro and British pounds. So that's quite nice too. And yeah, as said, you can also personalize your team's setup and start giving them accounts, giving them cards, and then they can spend money and their budget in in their team so that's quite nice and you can actually add a lot of different people there and you can also if you have a global team working in different countries you can pay the US team in dollars and you can pay the European people in euros and in over 40 different currencies so that's quite nice and yeah let's dive in and let's take a look on what you can actually do we can do this with two ways either you can have a demo account here so you can try it out just click on demo account and then they will guide you through and it's actually just a demo account and it will just show you what you can do. But I will go ahead and show you this in my business account because I think it's a little bit more interactive. So let's go ahead and do that. I will log in and then I will show you what to do. So once you have signed up for WISE, as said, feel free to take my link down in the description. Uh, then you will land on this screen and here you can open up different currencies accounts. So I already opened up a USD account and a Euro account, but let's say I also do business in Canada. Then I can just go ahead here, click on the plus sign, and then I can open up a balance account in Canadian dollars. Just type in Canadian dollars, confirm, and then I will automatically get a Canadian dollar account. And now I already have three different multi-currency accounts, US dollar, euros, and Canadian dollars. And for example, if I'm doing business in Europe, I can just go ahead and then 
click here, then I will get my informations on how to receive money. So I can just share this information with my European business partner and then they can start paying me. For example, if I'm working abroad in Europe, in Paris, for example, then my French company can pay me here with, on this account because it's a European bank account. And same goes for the US dollar account. So you have the same for the US dollar account. You can just get the information here or you can start adding funds. Just click on add and then you can just type in an amount, for example, thousand dollars and now I can either do a bank transfer or I can also put in some cash with a debit card or credit card. But here the fees are more expensive, of course. But yeah, this is how you would upload some money to your accounts and then you can hold it in different accounts. For example, I get paid in US dollar quite a bit from my partners and then I can wait until the exchange rate is good for Euro because I live in Germany and then I can just exchange the US dollar to Euro and then start using the Euros on this account or any other account. So that's quite nice. But the main part is the transfer section here. So we can just click here on send because it's just a demo. And now I can go ahead and say, okay, I want to transfer US dollars into euros. And I have two options. Either I say, okay, I want to send someone, let's say a flat amount of 4,000 USDs, or I want someone to receive an exact amount, for example, 4,152 euros, because it's a bill or something, then I have to pay this. And it will automatically calculate me the exact USD amount, and it will give me the mid-market exchange rate. And it will also tell me that this is guaranteed for the next 24 hours. So it's quite certain that the person will get this exact amount. And it will arrive today in four hours. So that's quite quick for an international bank transfer. And here you have the option to pay with different kind of payment methods. So this is quite the same what we saw earlier. You can either connect a bank account, your American bank account, or you can wire the money to a bank account of WISE. And then once it's there, WISE will issue the transfer to the European bank account. Or you can use a debit card or a credit card. But here this is more expensive. So when you use a debit card, it will cost you up to $72 to pay for it, which is quite expensive. So I would recommend you wiring the money there or you connecting your bank account. But in the end, if you're using it regularly, you will have your balance on your WISE account. So I always have some cash on my bank account in on WISE and then I can just use my balance. And this is also the cheapest option because it's just roughly 13 US dollars for this transfer, which is quite cheap. And including the fees and everything, we will pay a total of $21.47. And now in the next step, we can just click add recipient and either the person is already on WISE and you can just search for them in the WISE ecosystem or you can enter their bank details or if you have an invoice to pay, you can just upload the PDF or make a picture and then upload this one and the system will automatically put the information into the transfer form. But most of you, I think, will just enter the details so you can just click add and then you can either yeah, wire it to yourself, someone else or a business or a charity, but let's say just someone else. And now you can type in his or her email email and they will receive an email that they are about to receive 4,000 euros, which is quite a nice email to get. And then you can just type in their account name from them. And now you are inside the European banking system. So the SWIFT system, there you have an IBAN number. It always starts with like two letters and then a series of digits. And this is the same as the account number or the routing number in America. It's just one number. You put it in the country, the city, the address and the postal code and then you have all the information WISE needs to wire the money to the person here. The email is actually optional but here this information is necessary and required and then it's pretty much the same as in any other bank then you just confirm it you review it and then you pay for it and paying means either you have it on your account on WISE and it will be automatically issued or you need to wire the money to the account information WISE is giving you and they will update you on every step of the way once they receive the cash from you then they will issue the funds and your European recipient will then get the euros which you defined in the first step here on the amount section. So that's pretty easy and pretty simple and I do like the way WISE is handling this because we have here our guarantee mid-market exchange rate and we can always go on Google and double check if this is actually the exact rate we get so this is quite nice and they're very transparent on when it will arrive how long it takes this is also good to know because then you can 
and tell your business partner and they show you the fees which is also quite nice because then you just know how much it will cost you so we use it a lot to get paid from different business partners all over the world but we also use it for our online shop whenever we need to order some new goods and yeah some new products from china they will send us an invoice over let's say i don't know five thousand dollars and then we just type it in and send them the money and the transaction fees are quite low so that's really nice to doing business internationally but yeah so these are the main parts like holding cash in different currencies and using the exchange rates here then of course you can transfer money as easily as i just showed you and then you have your expense cards so you can just issue a physical or a digital card and use it for different purposes and the card is actually smart because when i'm in europe for example it will take the europe balance but when the europe balance is empty and i don't have any euros on my account anymore then it will automatically take the funds for example canadian dollars have a better exchange rate at the moment then it will take the canadian dollars but if the us dollar is better in this moment then it will take the us dollars and you can set this up for your team so here you have the team section so you can add team members you can give them cards you can give them different accounts to pay from so that's quite nice too and here if you go back on the home section you can also request money so you can either share a payment link you can show a qr code or just create an entire invoice which is quite nice so you can just go ahead and create an invoice type in the name the email address the product and service you offered the person and yeah bank details when it's due and you can choose the currency for example if i want to get paid in euro i can just choose euro or usd i can just choose to have usd and yeah you can just add this and you can click on preview download the pdf and then you have a preview on how the invoice will look like so that's quite nice so you can also have invoices and send them out internationally to different business partners and the best part is then you can connect your different softwares you're using for example quickbooks and connect it and then the software will already know of this invoice and will just get the information and then you already have this in your tax statement so that's quite nice and one last feature which i really love is that you can add saving jars so you can add different balance accounts which we've seen with the canadian dollars but you can also open up a jar and here you can start saving money so you can just call it savings and then you can say which currency for example us dollars click confirm and now i open up a savings account and here i can just put in the money from my account and i will earn up to 4.11 percent on my us dollars so if i put a thousand dollars in i will get 41 us dollars per year on my account so that's really nice that they actually pay you money on your cash and you can also take it to the next level because you can also invest the money you're holding here so you can either have the interest interest rate or you can put it into stocks actually into the MSCI world from I think it's BlackRock yeah I share world equity index fund BlackRock and here you can then invest in the ETF which is investing in Apple Nvidia and Microsoft and the average annual growth was 12.55 percent and of course it's not guaranteed it's due to market fluctuation but it's quite nice that you can actually invest your money or you can get a very stable I mean it's variable rate but it's quite stable that you get a four percent on your us dollars so that's quite nice that you can actually have these savings accounts here and the balance accounts to use for the transaction and yeah that's pretty much the main features you have on wise you can go ahead and here on wise click on business and then it will show you the features here so we can pay for invoices we can receive monies we can have debit cards we get an interest and of course we have api integrations for different tax softwares like quickbooks and and if you want to learn more, you can also go and try a demo, type in your email address and then just click through. It's a click demo and it will show you how it looks like and what else you can do in case I missed something. So yeah, if you want to start, you will find the link to WISE down in the description. Thank you if you use it because then I can start making more videos like this. If you really like the video, <laughs> feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just leave down below a comment and I will try to answer them as quickly as possible.